guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So you might be confused by the title, but don't worry, everything will be clearer in a second. I think one of the main things I pride myself on about my channel is that we talk about important topics, we talk about crime, we talk about philosophy, we talk about artists, and today, to continue with those serious topics, we're gonna talk about divorced birds. Now let's say you and I go toe-to-toe -to -toe on bird law and see who comes out the victor. You know, I don't think I'm gonna do anything um, close to that. To be fair, I only think it's appropriate for me to wear something a divorced bird would wear because otherwise, how can I be part of the crew and comment on what's going on if I don't look as divorced as they do? So I'll be right back. Okay, but what the fuck does a bird widow wear? Um, based on what I've seen, there are furs. Obviously, this is fake. It's about 100 degrees, so do I want to wear a fur? Probably not. Am I going to, though? Yes. Ooh. Should I wear this scarf? That looks very birdy, doesn't it? I'm not buying this. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I think this is more the brand we're going for. I think I look more likely to have a husband who mysteriously died looking like this. I think the other look was a little bit... So there is a subreddit dedicated to birds who look divorced. I think it's funny to judge animal expressions and give them human problems, so here we are. Also a great way to project my depression on things that are probably fine. XOXO. To begin this deep dive into this very serious topic, obviously, we should look at the tweet that began everything which is a tweet that I posted last night. And there are these two magnificent birds and it says, my new thing is finding birds that look like they're twice divorced. Now, of course, like any other human being, when I came across this, I was like, oh my God, this is the best. I have a habit of when I leave the house, the one time a year I do that, when I see dogs or cats or birds that have really funny expressions, I like coming up with a backstory for them, like their husband left them or the wife left them. The one on the left I decided is named Beatrice because she looks like a queen of, I don't know what decade, but damn that hair and she has that big ass furry coat and her story is that she's had many more husbands than just two but only two were found the rest are still buried somewhere that she won't tell us and the one on the other side is called penelope and she loves going on vacation to spain unfortunately her husband didn't like that so much so she just decided to drop him and find a new one <laughs> this is so stupid Okay, but for real, the reason I want to do this is just to be a little bit more lighthearted and a little bit more silly because it's been, it's been a week. Jerry and the boys couldn't wait to restart their old boy band. He didn't care what Linda thought anymore. He looked fabulous. Okay, but hold on a second. I can't look at this without immediately going to this picture. Like, just look at its face here. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love this so much. They all look so fucking stupid. Bill was ready to date again. Lisa always told him he looked ridiculous in skinny jeans. Her opinion no longer mattered to him after he signed the divorce papers. His legs. <laughs> I can't, he just looks so awkward. It reminds me, you know, of that like dead SpongeBob meme where he's dressed like wearing a loincloth. It really reminds me of that. I don't know if it's the leg stance that I find particularly funny or just like how angry he looks. We support Bill in this house. This one I think is not only a divorced bird, but also a Facebook mom. Hey girl, I just discovered the most amazing vaccine-free, non-GMO, chemical-free mascara. And now I own my own totally legit, 100% real business. Let me know if you would like more info about this once in a lifetime opportunity, hashtag boss babe. And the face, I just can't, the face, look at it. <laughs> Those eyelashes though. She'll easily find another husband if she needs one. I don't know if she's divorced, but probably. See now, this is the one that I think is kind of who I'm emulating. I think she's really the one that inspired this look apart from Lady Gaga, American Horror Story, which is probably the first thing that anyone would think upon seeing this look. But anyway, what do you think her name would be? Because I, I don't think Sharon is accurate. I think Sharon is too Facebook mom-like. I think she needs like a really fancy name. No officer, I haven't seen my husband in weeks. Yes, I'm terribly worried. You absolutely keep a hummingbird as a pet, bro. It's no different than having a parrot or a parakeet. It's a bird. 
bird, you bro. Really, you really can't? And I'm not saying I agree with it. It's just that bird law in this country, it's not governed by reason. There's no such thing as bird yes, law. Yes, there is. You know Half of these birds look like they're wearing modern day clothing, like the dude with, like the other bird with the skinny jeans, when in reality they just look like that. It's just hilarious that you can get so much of a personality really just out of their feathers, which is a very basic thing to say. Okay, this one, genuinely when I first saw it, I couldn't even spot the bird. <laughs> it says, Daniel sat alone on the streets as Bethany had kicked him out. It was time to gather his thoughts and move on. And the thing I genuinely appreciate about this one is that it's so fucking zoomed out. Like the person could have gotten closer or they could have zoomed in, but the picture goes on longer than the screenshot could show, but it goes on super long. And then there's like this tiny pigeon that's like a dot. When I zoom in on it, I know that it gets all pixelated, but even just seeing the pixels, this bird looks really angry and also kind of like a rock. Like if I cover its face, it just looks like a random little stone. Oh, poor Daniel. But I also wonder what the fuck Daniel did because Bethany wouldn't just kick him out for nothing. I can't with this one. A restraining order did not phase Matilda. Her love overcomes all opposition. <laughs> creepy. I feel like I need to put creepy music behind it and just zoom in on it. Oh my god, this is so stupid, but so funny to me. I don't know why I'm so genuinely entertained by these like really weird or ugly looking birds. Also, I actually was supposed to say this at the beginning of the video. I actually have a fear of birds, mainly because when I was five years old, I randomly came across Hitchcock's The Birds, and that movie scared the shit out of me, and I'm still not a fan of birds to this day. Like, if you have a pet bird, I'm not gonna be scared, but just like birds out and about. Like, you know when pigeons like fly directly towards you and it feels like they're aiming for your eyes and then they just like fly right above your head? Yeah, that shit scares the shit out of me. Jeffrey stared at himself in the mirror. It had been three days since he'd gotten out of bed. Ever since Linda left him, he had hit rock bottom. He decided that today he would make the call to schedule a therapy appointment, even though he was scared. <gasps> Oh my god, this is the fucking weirdest looking Polish rooster, it turns out. Called Roughnut? Is that his name or is that some kind of rooster shit that I don't know about? But I do love how bedheaded he looks and how his eyes look bloodshot and how it just looks like he's really ready to give up on living. A whole mood. I love how majestic some of these look for like no real reason. Sophia's ex was a shrimp eater and a cheater, but that was of no concern now. Her only remaining interest was dance. Her past was all flamingo, but now her future was all flamenco. <laughs> oh, good for Sophia. I just love how majestic they look and how sassy so many of these look too. <laughs> so I love how some of these have like two captions. So though she'd never admit it, Allison regretted telling Todd that she and the kids would be better off without him. I like the text like right above the picture that says, the bird looks like it's on the brink of having a mental breakdown. I didn't know birds were capable of showing this much emotion and facial expression. Let's just zoom in real fast on the bird's face, the bird in question. <laughs> uh, me when I wake up in the morning, just general apprehension towards the idea of being alive. <laughs> Okay, and I know you're probably gonna be really upset that this is over, not really, but this is the last one where it says, Cheryl, realizing her now ex-husband is off with his new chick whom he had an affair with, depicts her grief and frustration in her new later in life modeling career. <laughs> and honestly, I think she looks like a great model, but the thing that makes me laugh more is that it looks like she's like screaming. It's like her face is showing existential dread and her eyes are dark and beady. This looks like it could be uh, Renaissance painting. Like I genuinely feel like it really could be. Like couldn't you imagine just this with no context in a painting in a museum and you're like, yeah, okay, makes sense. Anyways guys, I hope you didn't mind that I did a sillier video. Uh, this week has been a lot so I just wanted to do something that wasn't too heavy on my brain and hopefully that was okay with you. Let me know which bird was your favorite. Let me know if you follow the subreddit r slash divorced birds because it's hilarious. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always and let's get right into the fan art.